All right, guys, day four. All our lumber has been uh, milled, all our cedar. Uh, everything's done. Now we're ready to uh, assemble uh, the dock. So uh, we'll film every once in a while to show you uh, the progress and uh, tell you how things went with uh, all the uh, equipment of dock industries. See you soon. guys uh, welcome back just want to show you uh, where we're at uh, we've got the framing done we put the this does every 16 inch usually it's every 24 inch but since I'm building with cedar it's less strong we thought of putting it every 16 inch just to uh, put everything stronger and uh, this is what it's gonna look like with the uh, cross members to put the floating tanks I put uh, the floating tanks tanks from uh, dock industries with uh, some uh, foam inside so uh, if ever it's uh, I don't know if there's a hole in it or something uh, we'll have to replace it and uh, the foam inside uh, doesn't um, rot so uh, if ever there's a hole in it even with the uh, foam, it doesn't rot. So that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, we had forgotten to do another stud, so we spliced it. So it's solid enough right there. You can see it. So that's a, a quick fix that uh, my dad came up with. So uh, we'll show you some more videos of uh, when the tanks will be all put installed and uh, then we'll flip the whole thing over and install uh, I'll show you the um, the, dig. the the hardware that we use from dock industries to uh, solidify the whole thing so we'll see you soon bye hey guys so all the floats are put are installed everything's done Eighteen feet by eight feet wide, all cedar dock. So now what we have uh, left to do next weekend, I would have liked to finish everything this weekend, but it is what it is. I need to install the hardware on uh, the corners here, inside and out, reinforcements. And after that, I put the decking on and we're pretty much all set. So, that's pretty much it. I'll post uh, the rest uh, next weekend. Hey guys, our, uh, just to film a bit the progress before we close this dock uh, over. So we put all the hardware, these are, are the corners, this is to put the, to secure it to the beach, we put a tube in there, this is the inside. This is for the walkway that I'm going to be uh, doing later on. All the framing inside is secured with uh, these corners. We ran out. We uh, instead of putting it 24 inches, we put it at 16, so we ran out for this one. So I've got to get one for that. This corner is different because I'm going to be tying this to the the beach. This is for the tie tie downs of the for the boat. Initially, I was supposed to put these corners here. 
but since we went ahead and with th a thicker uh, wood instead of an inch and a half two inches uh, our holes weren't aligning so I went ahead and finished it like that and I'm gonna have these holes ovalized a bit uh, wider so I can change that uh, next spring but for this summer that'll do So we've got all our uh, cedars here for the flooring. Got some back way over there. I'm gonna cut them to size at eight feet. I'm gonna screw all that in and we're gonna be done. So uh, I'll film a bit when uh, everything's done. We finished the dock. All done, five days from the tree to the lumber, to the building of the dock. So um, we put all the, the bumpers, we put in the, the tie downs for the boat. And uh, so eight feet by 18 feet. We have a bit of screwing left, but everything's tied down. So we're all set. We're very happy.